Dijoxin. Dijoxin is positive inotropic and negative chronotropic. That is, it increases the force of contraction and decreases the heart rate. What are the uses of Dijoxin? It is used in systolic heart failure, ventricular dilatation, decreased ejection fraction, and when there is third heart sound present. What are the contraindications to digoxin? The contraindications are pericardial diseases, restrictive and hypertrophic cardiomyopathies, and AV block. What are the conditions where digoxin is used? Digoxin is used in atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, congestive heart failure, atrial arrhythmia, and where to decrease the ventricular rate by increasing the refractory period at AV node. Side effects of digoxin therapy. The green yellow Hallows invasion, decreased PR interval, paroxysmal atrial tachycardia with AV block, ventricular, ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation, heart block and premature ventricular contraction. By Gemini, it's a couple beat, the two normal beats and that leads to ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. It causes hypokalemia. Increase and hypokalemia causes increased digoxin toxicity because it competes with potassium for sodium potassium pump. The patient receiving digoxin have a more chances to, to develop hypokalemia because they are also using diuretics. The paroxysmal atrial tachycardia with AV block is pathognomonic of digoxin toxicity. What are the EKG features of the digoxin toxicity? It increases the PR interval due to AV nodal delay, T wave inversion and ST depression. The pulse, pulse is regularly irregular and slow. The treatment of digitalis toxicity, of course after stopping the drug, it's the anti didoxin antibodies. Number two, potassium supplement. Number three, beta block lidocaine. The dialysis peritoneal or the renal does not remove efficiently the doxin. For the AV block caused by the doxin, the treatment is atropine IV 0.6 mg. The mechanism of action of the doxin. Digoxin increases the intracellular calcium, thereby increasing the force of contraction. The increased force of contraction increases the ventricular emptying, increases the ejection fraction, increases stroke volume, and increases cardiac output and it decreases the increased diastolic pressure and volume and decreases the end systolic volume. Two, digoxin increases the refractory period at both SA node and AV node due to the increased vagal activity that decreases the heart rate and decreases the oxygen demand. And number three, digoxin decreases the refractory period in both the atria and ventricle, thereby increasing the excitability of the tissues 
and causing dysrhythmias are the conditions that increase the digitalis toxicity hypokalemia and hypomagnesemia increase the digitalis toxicity compared to this hypercalcemia also increases the digitalis toxicity also quinidine hypothyroidism and hypoxia increases its toxicity the substances that cause digoxin toxicity are eubane foxglove oleander squill and a skin or venom of the beaufort toad what is the most common cause of digitalis toxicity the most common cause of digitalis toxicity is hypokalemia because most of the patient who are on digitalis they are also on diuretics how the hypomagnesemia increases the digitalis toxicity the magnesium blocks the calcium channel thereby increasing the digitalis toxicity what is the earliest sign of digoxin intoxication the earliest sign of digoxin intoxication are nausea vomiting and anorexia how do you assess the digitalis toxicity the serum digoxin assay assesses the toxicity of the digoxin what is the treatment for heart block caused by digoxin atropine dopamine or phenytoin a 40 mg vial of fab fragment neutralizes about 0.6 mg of digoxin the sodium potassium pump actually there are two pumps a sodium potassium pump and a sodium calcium pump there is a third one sodium hydrogen pump also the sodium potassium pump is an enzyme at the plasma membrane and actively transports potassium into and sodium out of the cell the sodium potassium ratio is 3 is to 2 for every 3 sodium excreted out two potassium are taken in potassium is the most important intracellular enzyme and is present in a very high concentration so it has to be pumped in against a concentration gradient and the pump has three sides for sodium and two sides for potassium that is why every time three sodium are out and two potassium are in if the pump maintains the resting membrane potential and the cell volume and because of this sodium export it is possible to import glucose and amino acid and other nutrients into the cell in the brain the sodium potassium pump maintains purkinje tissue activity in the cerebellum if the pump is inhibited or is abnormal it causes parkinsonism and ataxia the sodium calcium pump the sodium calcium pump is at the sarcoplasmic reticulum of the cell compared to the sodium potassium pump which is present at the cell membrane an increase in intracellular sodium due to sodium potassium pump sodium potassium pump inhibition 
by cardioglycosides increases the available sodium with calcium exchange at sodium calcium pump and that increases the intracellular calcium and that is the main mechanism of action of digoxin. The Wolf Parkinson White syndrome or the pre-excitation syndrome. Since we have discussed atrial flutter and fibrillation, this condition, the Wolf Parkinson White syndrome, is also very similar. So let's discuss this. The normal conduction is such that the only connection between the atria and ventricle is the AV node which is present at the interatrial septum and the atria are excited directly from the SA node but in this condition there are abnormal accessory electrical uh, pathway between the atria and ventricle and they excite the ventricular tissue prematurely these bundles are known as the bundle of Kent. There is, since there is in the, when the normally the impulse pass, there is a delay in the impulse at AV node. But in this condition, there is no delay. This is the normal conduction starting from the SA node to the AV node and through the bundle of H2 to the ventricle. So there is a delay over here normally. But this is the bundle of Kent, an abnormal passage from atria to the ventricle. So there is no delay. So the atrial and the ventricular heart rates are same. In severe condition, this condition that causes cardiogenic shock, syncope and ventricular fibrillation condition is associated with other congenital abnormalities like Epstein-Barr. Epstein anomaly. What are the EKG findings in the Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome? Number one, the PR interval is shortened and the QRX complexes are white. The PR interval is less than 0.2 one two seconds and there is a slurring at the up stroke and that is known as the delta wave so the PR interval short and the QRX complex wide and slurring at the up stroke the short PR interval and the slurring at the up stroke are due to the premature excitation of the ventricle. The disappearance of the delta wave, that slurring is known as the delta wave and the slurring and the disappearance of the delta wave in tachycardia indicates a good prognosis. Wolf Parkinson wife syndrome may also be associated with lever hereditary neuropathy which is a second cranial nerve or the optic nerve neuropathy. It is a mitochondrial defect. The treatment of the severe cases where there is hypotension, tachydysrhythmia and altered mental status is cardioversion. The drug use for the atrial fibrillation are contraindicated because they may worsen the block. The drug use for the treatment are amiodarone and phenytoin. The definite treatment, what is the definite treatment is the ablation. To decrease the ventricular rate, lidocaine IV or procainamide is given. And also if it's a non-life-threatening, non lidocaine and procainamide are given.